Where on earth is Carmen San Diego? prisoner escaped. Anything we can do? Thanks, Detective, but our escapee didn't survive this explosion. Who was he? <gasps> Dr. Gunnar Maelstrom, one of the most brilliant and frightening criminal minds there ever was. Hey, Ivy, check this out. Huh? They're heading out here towards the river. Maelstrom could have gotten away. I'm afraid that print was made by a regulation penal guard shoe, Detective. I'd guess mine when I first ran out here to investigate. Could this be his watch? No one could have escaped this blast, and it was Maelstrom's violent life that put him beneath that pile of rubble. It just doesn't make sense that someone as brilliant as Maelstrom would botch an escape this badly. Hey, new digs, detectives? Love what you've done with the place. Early slammer. Chief, what can you tell us about this creepazoid Dr. Maelstrom? Oh, deja vu. You're talking about the most ruthless criminal who ever lived. And he didn't recycle. Ah! Sounds like you knew him personally. Knew him? I put him in prison. Well, me and a famous ex-acme detective by the name of Carmen San Diego. Carmen helped huh? put him away? Yep. Back when she was one of us, say it loud and say it proud, but just say it, acme detectives. The year was 1985. Ronald Reagan was president. Out of Africa, won Best Picture. Later that year, the famous sunken luxury liner Titanic would be found at the bottom of the sea. And an 8.1 earthquake would rock Mexico City. But our story starts before that, in late August. Maelstrom. You! Library's closed. And your card has expired. <laughs> I'm afraid our little cat and mouse game is finally over, Dr. Maelstrom. Are you certain, Detective San Diego? <gasps> Detective Carmen San Diego. Don't worry, I'll get this back to you. You call the fire department. Be 
detectives certainly are a persistent breed. Mm, blast! How does he design those awesome vehicles? Yep, yep, yep. This guy was one tough cookie. And I mean no soft, chewy center. Of course, you know, I could have told Carmen how to handle him. But this was back before I was in charge. Maelstrom got away again, huh, Carmen? It doesn't add up, Inspector. Here's a brilliant marine archaeologist gone bad. A man obsessed with stealing. Ocean treasures, loot from sunken ships, and suddenly he steals a simple logbook. What's so strange about that? Why steal navigation records from 70-odd years ago? The ship it belonged to, the Carpathia, was just an ordinary passenger boat. It never even sank. The answer's got to be here somewhere. <laughs> you and your computer. I tell you... Inspector, if I was half as high-tech as Dr. Maelstrom, I'd have had him by now. Well, the boys at headquarters seem to agree with you, Carmen. They slapped together a little something to help even the odds. Introducing your new partner, Acme's very own computerized holographic imaging educational facilitator, affectionately known as Chief. Oh, Detective San Diego, what an honor. Oh, 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 an open window! What a partner. Chief, you had a body? Well, it was kind of an experiment that didn't exactly work out. I, I'd really rather not talk about it. Anyway. And let me assure you, Detective San Diego, I am state-of-the-art, user-friendly. Oh, did I mention I'm cable ready? Oh, but wait, there's more. I guarantee you could not find a partner who is more alert, more vigilant, more... Uh, Chief? Forgive me for disabling your little toy, Carmen. <sighs> How did you intercept his secured frequency? Knowledge is power, Carmen. <laughs> You're an epidemic on society, Maelstrom. And I'm about to become the cure. Oh, you're a fool if you believe the reason you hunt me is to see me stopped, Carmen. We both live for the game. We're two sides of the same coin, you and I. No, never. <laughs> Only I'm willing to admit that the art of the theft is what compels me. All that compels you is greed. That lofty moral superiority of yours will someday crumble like the walls of Jericho. And you will see what I see in you. <clears throat> what? <laughs> you are a thief at heart, Carmen. And right now it's my freedom you're trying to steal. Who knows what you will crave next? Hmm? You're more aware, more... Say, you look a little green, Carmen. Getting enough roughage. Chief, Maelstrom just broke in on your frequency. Do you have video playback? Bring up the volume. We intercepted this message, boss. Jason arriving Sydney Harbor. Nice job. Now we just need to figure out who Jason is. Okay, listen up, culture lovers. We got pioneer Jason Lee. We got that ancient Greek heartthrob, Jason and the Argonauts, from Greek mythology. Any Jasons that have a more contemporary ocean-going theme, Chief? Word is there's a new underwater robot camera named Jason Jr., developed by oceanographers to explore the sea in places that would be way too deep for you humans to swim. Punch out, weenies. It can photograph the deepest oceans, where it's so dark, some creatures, like this viper fish, actually produce their own light. Hmm. Jason sounds like a perfect tool for Maelstrom's usual underwater heists. And according to my chest, Jason Jr., or JJ my man, as we fellow robots like to call him, is due to arrive and be tested, get this, you heard it here first, in Sydney Harbor tomorrow! Then Chief, let's pack our toothbrushes for Australia, the land down under. Since this was before they invented the C-5 corridor, Carmen flew us from San Francisco to Australia in the Acme Jet. Though new to flying, I laughed in the face of danger. Here you go, Gov. One robot camera in A1 condition. Say, where's Captain Fredericks today? I'm afraid Captain Fredericks is a little tied up today. Boss! You seen what they got down there in the tank? 
That thing gives me the creepy crawlies. Merely a specimen of genus Architeuthis, Bilge, collected by our marine biologist friends below. Now, prepare to cast off. Well, I guess we missed the boat, so now we'll have to call Harbor Patrol. Wow! Chief, take the wheel! But, but, Carmen, I'm not programmed for driving. It's driving. I thought I asked you to take the wheel. Ha, uh -huh, I did. Oh, boy. No light penetrates the ocean below 1,500 feet, so what can viperfish do to see better? Viperfish can produce their own light to see in the dark ocean depths. Oh my gosh! Hang on, Carmen! Oh, get her up, you overgrown Susie! Are we heroes yet? Afraid not, Chief. Chief, run your video memory of Maelstrom's getaway one more time. Oh, I've run it five times already. Can't we just run hello, Dolly? We have to figure out where Maelstrom's headed with that stolen underwater camera. Those flags! Ships use flags like those to send messages to each other. But according to my database on the International Signal Code, those flags don't mean anything. What if it's a private code? Infoscan! Colors! Ah, uh, that covers a lot of territory, Carmen. I swear, it's as though Maelstrom's taunting me. Wait a minute. Maelstrom is a fantastic pool player. I nearly cornered him once at a French billiards tournament. Ah, uh, billiards. The tabletop game of royalty can be traced all the way back to the 15th century when King Louis XI of France is known to have purchased a billiard table. For... See how each ball has a number painted on it? What if Maelstrom's color code is really a number code based on billiard ball colors? Purple is four, yellow is one, Four, three, four, nine, five, six. Wow, that just about clears up everything. And we're looking for a destination. So the numbers could mean latitude 41 degrees 43 minutes, longitude 49 degrees 56 minutes, which, since he was headed northwest... Maelstrom stole the Carpathia's log back in Liverpool. Did the Carpathia ever cross this part of the North Atlantic? Wasn't on the Carpathia's usual route. Oh, except for one day, in 1912, a passenger liner sank right at that spot. The Carpathia went off course to rescue the few survivors. Oh my gosh, Chief! He's going to steal the sunken ship? Titanic! He'll desecrate a memorial to all those who lost their lives in that tragedy. we got to stop him! And there you have it, gentlemen. Descending in nuclear submersibles, we will attach magnetic disks to the Titanic's hull. Then activate the self-inflating pontoons, which will fill with hydrazine gas. The Titanic will rise like Venus from the sea. All this just to get some old boat? Fool! The Titanic was the largest and finest ship of her day. Unsinkable, they called her. So certain were they that on her maiden voyage, they neglected to include enough lifeboats for all passengers. Then, at 20 minutes to midnight on April 14th, 1912, she struck an iceberg and sank. 
There were 705 survivors, but over 1,500 people drowned, making it the greatest seagoing disaster of all time. Countless explorers have tried to locate the wreckage of the doomed ship. All have failed. Until now. But using the stolen log of the rescue ship Carpathia, I tracked that day's currents and calculated they were strong enough to carry the sinking Titanic due east, far from where everyone else suspected. Gentlemen, I am about to carry off the greatest seagoing theft of all time. Follow me in the red submarine, Bilge. Right, boss. San Diego. Chief, take the controls. What again? I told you I'm not programmed for. Ah, the reception committee. The Titanic sank in 1912. What was the name of the ship that rescued the survivors? The Carpathia was the name of the ship that saved the survivors when the Titanic sank in 1912. <laughs> That's why you're the henchman and not the boss. Now to see a man about a ship. Right on target. The Titanic. <laughs> Bilge, are you there? The Titanic broke in two as it sank. The other section could be anywhere. We'll need more pontoons. That won't be necessary, <gasps> Doctor. The Titanic's not going anywhere. You will regret this, Carmen. <gasps> Come on. Wedged in, my dear. Allow me to help blast you out. Maelstrom, you're a madman! <gasps> what are you doing? Just hoisting you on your own pontoon, Doctor. Hey, Detective! Look, we bagged our limit! Next day, September 1st, a crew led by Dr. Robert Ballard found the Titanic. Maelstrom went to prison, and I asked for a nice, quiet desktop job, maybe as a paperweight. Uh, yeah, great story, Chief, but... Hey, look! Since when does anyone escape from prison barefooted? Ivy, those shoe prints I saw... Wanna bet Maelstrom somehow got a hold of guard shoes? And if you were a demented sea captain who'd been locked up for ten years, where's the first place you'd go? To my ship! Chief, where's the Valkyrie right now? Info scanning International Harbor Records. Bingo! The Valkyrie is now a supply ferry in Belize. Player, seat by us to Belize. Looking for huh? me? <laughs> All right, Maelstrom, we're from Acme, and you're busted! Am I now? Gentlemen, please show our young friends how we deal with uninvited Acme agents. Give it up, Maelstrom! You can't lock us in here forever! I wouldn't dream of it. Besides, who needs locks? When you've got Crocs. Whoa! Run for it! Ivy! Elbow. Oh, the 
elbows connected to the drive shaft, and the drive shaft connected to the solenoid formabulator, and that's the way you fix the cheap. Everybody sing forearm. Yes, I'm a trained professional. Kids, don't try this at home unless you have invaluable nuts and bolts knowledge. Wrist. Jeez, I feel like a refugee from the whiz. Oil me. Yoop. Wow, hey, look. Now give me a hand. Boy, you know, every calamari thinks he's a comedian. Cookie time!